Hey guys, welcome to another Figma Friday. I'm Chris with Rocksaw Studios, and today we're going to be talking about how to build a really cool image comparison slider, kind of like this, in Figma. So let's get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and made a frame, and I've just placed a rectangle, the full size of the frame here. Um, and I'm just gonna fill that rectangle with an image that I've prepared um, of New York City. So let's just put a black and white version of that image here. And then I'm gonna take that rectangle, I'm gonna call it black and white, and duplicate it. So Command D to duplicate. And let's pull in another image. And this time we're doing it in color, just so you can kind of see the images uh, overlap there. And let's call that color. So now I've got my color image over my black and white image, right? Um, so the first thing I want to do is mask off this color image. So in order to do that, I'm going to just do half the page and make another rectangle. and align it to the top, to the bottom, and this left, and we'll make it 720, which is half of our frame size. And I'm just gonna call this mask and pull it below our color layer. So now that we have our mask lined up where we want it to go, I'm gonna hit shift, and I'm going to go up here in the top middle portion of our toolbar and set this mask and now you can see that it's changed this layer to mask group and we've got a mask here uh, masking off of our color layer and i'm going to go ahead and label that color well so now we've got our black and white image and a masked color um, and that's kind of our starting point from where we want to see the the comparison slider and I need to make a controller, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'll make a little circle here. And we'll make it about oh, 88, it's fine. And then I'll put it to the middle. Let's make it black. And let me zoom in a little. I'm gonna put a couple of arrows in there. So let's do a triangle here. Good. And we'll just put another one over there. And I'm just going to group these and make sure that they're in the middle here. All right. And group that. So there's our little thing. Now let's make sure that it's in the middle of our board. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more rectangle for a line down the middle. Um, make that. 24. And let's make it about four pixels wide. We'll make that black too. And make sure it's in the middle again. And I'm going to take that and my other group and just group all of that together and we'll call it control. But we have the basic contents of our slider, super easy to build, right? Um, so now that we have this mask, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this whole frame a couple of times. So there's one and I'm just taking, I'm just hitting option and dragging it over just like that. So now I've got a couple here um, and I'm going to label these um, middle, oops. and left, and we're gonna call this one right. Okay. Now, let's go over to our left panel. So I want this to slide left, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this a, take my mask, and I'm gonna make this 
come all the way over to the left. I'm just gonna drag that handle over here. And I don't want it to go all the way to the edge because it'll do some funky stuff. So I want it to go just to the edge. So we'll make it about two pixels wide, right? And then I'm gonna drag my slider all the way over till it clicks. And that is our left panel. And with our right panel, I'm basically gonna do the same thing. Take the mask, drag it all the way over to the right. And then same thing with the slider. So I'm just dragging the mask layer, right, over so that it exposes more. And now I'm just going to go into prototype mode so that we can see this actually work. And I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna take my handle, right, on this middle one, and I'm gonna hit interactions on drag. I want to navigate to left, okay? And smart animate, we're gonna keep that, ease out, it's fine. Um, we'll just leave that all at default. And then I'm gonna go into my left one and on drag, I'm gonna set it to navigate to our right panel and animate. And it should animate between the two because we've already set that layer, just the mask, to um, to the right. And it should just animate smoothly. And then if I go from the right panel, I'm gonna add one more interaction on that handle, that control. I'm gonna say on drag, navigate to middle. And that's where we started from. And that's it. Now, there's some limitations with the ways that you can control this, but it will give you a really cool prototype. Um, so let's go into play mode and let's just see how that works. So now, if I take this and drag it to the left, oh, look at that. My mask actually follows it with Smart Animate. And as long as I hold it and drag it, it will continue to Smart Animate. Now, if I let go, it's gonna go ahead and just go all the way to the left. Now, if I pull it from the left all the way to the right, it should expose that as well. And then when I come over here, it'll just snap back to the middle. So that's a really cool little prototype way to show an image comparison. Um, obviously, you could put whatever image you want in those two layers, you could change them out easily. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit like or subscribe at the bottom and we'll see you on our next Figma Friday. Thanks so much.